box plots show us how data is distributed. Here we've got some summary data for the heights of plants. We are told the shortest plant of this group is eight centimeters tall. So on a box plot, that means there's a line at eight centimeters. The tallest plant is 53 centimeters tall. So again, the tallest plant gets a line on the box plot. The lower quartile is 25 centimeters. The median is 34 centimeters. And the upper quartile is 42 centimetres. So what we've done is we've split our data into quarters. So the gap between the first two lines represents the first quarter of the plants. Then the ne next two lines between the lower quartile and the median represents the next quarter of the plants. Then between the median and the upper quartile is again a quarter of the plants. And between the upper quartile and the tallest plant is a quarter of the plants. So what this does is it splits our plants into, splits our data into four quarters. And we join a box around the quartiles, the lower quartile to the upper quartile, including the median. We draw a box around them and we draw lines out to our smallest value and our highest value so that is how we draw a box plot there's one for you to try here so if you're able to try and give it a go so again we've been given the information the shortest the tallest the lower quartile the median and the upper quartile so these are the five things we need to draw a box plot. So for each of these bits of information, we're gonna draw a line. So the shortest plant is 11 centimeters. The tallest is 52. The lower quartile is 19 centimeters. The median is 37. And the upper quartile is 48. And we're going to join a box around the quartiles, which is the middle 50% of the data, and draw lines out to our lowest value and our highest value. So that's a, another box plot. And we need to know what each of the lines on the box plot represents. So we've got the lowest value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the highest value. And we can say the difference between the lowest and highest value is called the range. The difference between the lower quartile and the upper quartile is called the interquartile range. Here we have another example. This time we've got the weights of some items in grams and we need to draw a box plot. So we've been given the weights. So we need to know what information goes onto a box plot. So we need the lowest value. So we need the lowest value, which is gonna be 55. So we can draw a line at 55. The highest value, and that's going to be 79. So that's here, two back. And we need to work out the median and the quartiles. So the median is the middle number. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven numbers here, eleven items. So the middle one is going to be the sixth one. 
so we can cross off five on both sides. We're left with the median, which is 67. So a box plot's got a line for the median. So we can draw that at 67. And then how about the quartiles? So if we ignore the median, we can see there are five numbers on both sides. So a quartile is like the median of half of the data. So if we find the median of these five bits of data, the middle one, 72, that's going to be the upper quartile. And 60 is the middle of the lower half, so that's the lower quartile. So the lower quartile is 60, and the upper quartile is 72. So they both get a line on our box plot. And 72 So we'll join up the middle ones and we'll have lines out to the lowest and highest value and there is our box plot. So we've got the lowest value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile and the highest value. Okay, one of these for you to try. So work out the information that goes on the box plot and then draw it if you're able to or draw a sketch of it. So we've got the times of some runners in seconds. We need to draw a box plot. We know the lowest value and the highest value already. So 56 is the lowest value. 102 is the highest value. We need to work out the median. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can cross off six, 7 on both sides. And we're left with 72 in the middle. So 72 is our median. And... 72 is the median, the lower quartile is the middle of the lower half, which is 66, and the middle of our upper half is 78. So we have 66 for our lower quartile, and 72, we've drawn that for the median, 78 is the upper quartile. And then we draw a box around the quartiles. So that represents 50% of the data, half of the runners. And then we draw the lines out to the smallest, the quickest and the slowest runner. Okay, this time we've been given box plots. So here are box plots given information about the weight of some eggs from two groups of chickens. So we've got two box plots drawn for us. And the question says, compare the distribution of the weight of the eggs in group A with the distribution of the weight of the eggs in group B. So when we're asked to compare two box plots, we need to compare the average, so compare the median and compare the spread, so the range or the interquartile range. So let's look at the medians of these two groups of chickens, these two groups of eggs, sets of eggs. So group A, we can see the median is at 62. And for group B, 
the median is at 64. So we can say the median, the median weight for group B is bigger. It's got a higher median weight. So group B, group B eggs have a higher median weight. So we've compared the average, we've compared the median, and now we need to compare the spread. So the either the range or the interquartile range, I'm going to compare the interquartile range. So for group A, the lower quartile is at 60, the upper quartile is at 66. So we've got an interquartile range of 6. For group B, we've got a lower quartile at 61, an upper quartile at 68. So 68, what's the difference? That's 7. So group B have a bigger spread, a larger interquartile range. So group B group B weights are more spread have a higher spread, higher interquartile range. So on average, group B's eggs are more, they weigh more because the higher median and group B's are more spread out because there's a higher interquartile range. So here's one for you to try. So we've got the time it takes some boys and girls to complete a puzzle. We've got box plots drawn, so compare the two distributions. So you need to compare the median, the average, and the spread, the range or the interquartile range. So from looking at these, we can see the median time is more for the girls. So we can say the girls' median time was more, was greater. So you could say on average it took longer. And then the spread, we can see that the girls' range is definitely smaller. And the interquartile range is smaller as well. So we can say the spread is less. So the girls times were less spread out. And that's because either the range or the interquartile range is lower. And to finish up, two questions, pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. In question one, we've been given some of the correct information. We've been given the shortest, the smallest value. We haven't been given the highest value. We've instead been told the range. So we need to work out the highest value. So to find the highest, we're going to do 8 plus 45, which makes 53. So the difference between the shortest and tallest is 45. So the smallest plus 45 is the tallest. We've been told the lower quartile which we need, but we haven't been told the upper quartile. Again, we've been told the interquartile range. So to find the upper quartile, we can add 12 on to 25, which makes 37. And we've been told the median. So now we've got all the information we need. So we've got a line at eight. 
the lower quartiles at 25. The median is at 31. The upper quartile is at 37. And the tallest was at 53. So we do a box around the middle 50% of the data and draw lines out to the shortest and the tallest. Question two, we're comparing two, two classes test results. So comparing two box plots. So we're going to compare the average, the median, and the spread, either the interquartile range or the range. So which class scored more on average? Which class has a higher median? Class A had a higher median score. And how about the spread? So the interquartile range and the range, they're both smaller for class B. So class B had a smaller interquartile range or range. So we could say the results are less spread out. It's a lower spread. And we can say that this is a higher average.